fact, the Cavs have many fans pulling for them in the finals, which don't begin for another day. And among those supporters is former guard Delonte West, who was with the Cavs from 2008 to 2010. Now, the past few years, West has been in China, but he tells Northeast Ohio Media Group that he doesn't know where he'd be without the mentorship and compassion of LeBron James. West actually credits LeBron with helping to save his life by offering encouragement when West was at his lowest. He said, it's hard to have great friends in professional sports because you're so busy with your schedule. But if James befriends you, then he's your friend until the end. That's hard to say about a player, let alone a megastar. When we do see each other, it's like you were with him playing video games yesterday. That's a credit to his character, his humbleness, and how he was raised. Now, what do you think when you hear stories like this about LeBron James? So it just further crystallizes why it seems like the entire league wants to play with LeBron James. Yeah. And, of course, a lot of that has to do with the kind of basketball player he is. But I think it comes through a lot in the type of person that he is. I've always said, um, in addition to the fact that it's very few times in sports where you see someone who not only lives up to the hype, but actually exceeds the hype. Mm -hmm. So when you consider how long LeBron James has been under the spotlight, how long he's been in the public eye, he could very well be the type of person that considers other people beneath him or uh, doesn't want to be bothered right. or keeps to himself or is kind of standoffish or aloof. But he's never shown to be that kind of guy. It's the reason why he has the same click around him that he's always had. He values loyalty, and I think that's really clear in how he set up his circle. And so I think for Delonte West, trouble past, um, he's had some issues with depression, yeah. uh, other personal things going on. Sometimes you never know the kind of impact you're going to make on somebody's life. You never know. That's, that, and that's my biggest takeaway from this. Uh, for, I love stories like this. And, you know, we judge LeBron James on championships, on statistics. We measure him against Michael Jordan. And we know he's a, a good guy. You know what I mean? The worst thing people say about him is that, oh, you, maybe you left Cleveland a little too cold-blooded. Yeah, the decision yeah. is the worst thing on his resume. Right. He is but, but by all accounts, a good guy. But this is so much bigger than basketball. And it's definitely inspirational for all of us because some of the details of, of these stories that Delonte is telling – saying that he sat in the locker room for an hour. This was when Mike Brown was going to let Delonte go away for a few days. During LeBron, practice, correct? LeBron left practice. Mm -hmm. Sits with him for an hour and says, I don't know where you're going or what you're about to do, but I'll be right here when you get back. They go, uh, I think it was Lorenzo right. They, they get off the plane, go get him, hug him, you know, love on him. They end up reading scriptures on the plane. It's like this is pouring so much into this this person who LeBron James didn't have to go this far with. He'd be like, hey, man, keep your head up. Right. All right, we'll see you down the road. But it just goes to show you, when you when you along this walk in life and you got opportunity to speak an encouraging word to somebody or to say something or to spend some time with them that can make a world of difference you know like who knows what Devontae west would be if, if, if lebron james thought that 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 day's practice was more important than sitting down and giving your undivided attention lebron has got time he's sitting you know he didn't have to do that he didn't have to do that, have to do that. that. so this is you know even regardless of how you feel about lebron versus kobe lebron jordan the decision whatever you have when you read stuff like this you can't help but be a lebron James fan, a fan of the man. Yeah, with the person that he is, especially because I, I think in one part in the piece he describes when he, in his most recent uh, legal trouble, mm -hmm. he, he thought he was going to prison. He thought his life was over going to prison for a while. And his mindset, if LeBron James doesn't speak that to him, he, he's right. We don't know how this, it could have turned out very tragically given the history that he's had with some uh, very personal and troubling and deep issues. So.